Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Guild Rock. I know you're concerned about my safety right now, but don't worry, I have the warden completely under control. Anyway, today I'm going to show you the best wheat farm on the server. As a matter of fact, I will bet you this firework in my hand, by the end of this episode, you will absolutely agree with me. But enough of these betting games, I'm ready to get started. Let's go. Well, it all started here. I was mining and I came across this awesome looking dungeon with a zombie spawner inside and inside the dungeon there was a chest with a disc inside and you're probably wondering well what does this have to do with getting a wheat farm discs are used to duplicate allays and i wanted to have a couple of allays inside of my wheat farm so that they would automatically pick up any of the wheat or seeds that a villager drops when they're planting so i obtained my first disc the whole reason i was down here was to find the skulk in order to build the portal that you saw earlier in the video so in addition to me mining through this skulk i also ran into to this awesome little gem amethyst again these pieces of amethyst are used to also duplicate the LA now the whole purpose I went mining has changed because I wanted to build my nether portal but now with the disc and the amethyst that I've found I can take this back and start making this automatic wheat farm so let's go back and clean up the room where I want to put this okay so here's the room that I want to place this wheat farm in but this time instead of clearing it up with stone pickaxes we're gonna go ahead and place a beacon and get that all set up so that it's much easier for us to dig this entire room out the problem with putting a beacon in a mountain is that you have to go all the way to the top of the mountain to get the beacon to hit the sky i had to dig a hole down in order to get that started but once i got that started we got back to digging bam this was a breeze it was instant mine it took absolutely zero time to get this room cleaned out i had a much harder time finding containers to put the stone in versus mining it out now that the room was cleaned out i knew it was time to go find an la i knew that there's an la hanging around at the north end of the nether so i decided to go over there to go duplicate the la and it's simple you just put down a jukebox you put your disc inside the jukebox the LA begins to dance around when he starts to spin that way you go ahead and you just hand him an amethyst shard and then the duplication process happens at this point it's just a matter of getting him back to the house one of the problems is every time you take a mob through the nether with a lead attached to it the lead always breaks off so I figured I just let the LA carry the lead and then when I need to take it off him I'll switch with him and it was easier just to walk with him between the portals finally we get back to the house I get the LA inside and now I have myself an LA one of the last pieces that we needed was a zombie villager and I already captured this zombie villager and I named him Bob. We're going to go ahead and cure him after we get rid of these two zombies so that he can become a villager and he'll be the farmer villager Bob inside of my farm making sure that all the wheat gets grown. And finally the last piece that we need are bees. In order to get bees we have to find a bees nest. Once you find a bees nest you get a campfire you stick the campfire underneath the bees nest that calms down the bees from the smoke and then you can use a pair of shears to take out the honeycomb because we need three pieces of honeycomb in order to make a beehive so we can take it back to our farm so next i placed down the beehive and then i went to reproduce more bees in order to reproduce more bees you have to give them a flower and giving them a flower turns their heart mode on and they make little bees but you can make these little bees grow up faster by keep giving them flowers once i had the two bees inside the beehive i then took a silk touch tool and used that tool to take down the beehive and take it back to the farm now that we have all the pieces let's go back and start building the wheat farm so back in our room where we cleared out, I have a square dug out here that is 20 by 20. We're going to go to the back corner. And we're going to go ahead and start placing some dirt down. The dirt is going to be a 9 by 9 square. You're probably wondering, why are we focused in on wheat? Wheat does a whole bunch of good things for us. It actually bakes bread, it makes cake, it repopulates our cows and our sheep, and the new addition is that it makes packed mud. And of course, you could always make hay bales for decoration as well. Once your square is complete, it should look something like this. And what we're going to go ahead and do is repeat this same square around the entire large square. And once it's done, it'll look just like this. Now we're going to go ahead and add a bucket of water to each of the open blocks in the middle of each square. Next we're going to go ahead and take our hoe and till the dirt so that we can get ready to plant our seeds and it should look like this when it's all done. After you're done with that go ahead and place fencing in each of the holes that have water in them and then place a torch on top of each of the fences to light up the area. Then go to the back of your farm and go ahead and put a row of dirt block in. This is where we're going to plant our flowers look like that when it's completed then go to the front of your farm put down a block of your choice and go around the entire farm with the border now back to the front of your farm go ahead and add a second row to your border so it looks like this now we're going to go ahead and enclose the entire farm in glass
We're going to end up going four high with the glass, and it'll look like this once it's done. Go ahead and start building your roof, and just make a simple roof of glass across the entire structure. Once that's complete, go ahead and place your torches on top of the glass, just in the dark spots. One thing I didn't do, I had to go back and silk touch grass, so that the grass would start growing in the back in order to plant our flowers on. So you only need a few, because it'll catch and it'll grow by itself. Now we're going to go ahead and make our villager a farmer. And in order to do that, we have to place down a composter. Once the composter is placed, go ahead and place your bed. You'll see that he links to the bed. Once he's linked to the bed, he'll now turn into a farmer. Now we got to make sure that the farmer has nothing but seeds. We don't want him to have potatoes and carrots. So we're going to give him some seeds and build this little area that he can actually start planting in. And if he begins to plant the seeds, that means he has nothing else in his inventory. And you can see that he's planting the seeds already. So we're good that this is a wheat farmer and he'll be able to work in our farm. Next, we're going to come to the middle of the farm. We're going to put down some seeds. We're going to put down a dirt block. And on top of the dirt block, we're going to put the composter. Next, we're going to let our villager come in, link to the composter once again, and now he's officially inside the farm and able to work as a villager that farms for wheat. And you can see him planting the seeds. He'll plant this entire thing for us. Now, once he's got everything planted, the wheat will begin to grow. He'll begin to harvest it all. And you can see that the grass took in the back and has a few more patches. Next, we're going to build our honeycomb farm. And this is why we needed our bees. The bees are going to pollinate all of the wheat back and forth because they're going to run to the flowers and then they're going to come back to the beehive to drop off the pollen that's on them. That'll make honey and honeycomb. But what we're going to do is harvest the honeycomb. What you're going to do is place down a beehive on the third block from the end. And then on top of that, put an observer going into the beehive. Next, put a dispenser looking into the beehive. You can see the dispenser goes into the beehive and the observer goes into the beehive. Then you're going to put a block of your choice on top of the dispenser. And redstone dust here. And redstone dust here. Put our shears into our dispenser. Now we're going to go ahead and build four more of these for a total of five honeycomb farms. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our flowers to the back. And you can see the bees are already coming to the flowers to pollinate. Then we're going to reset this circuit by taking out the beehive with a silk touch. And you see once we take it out that that updates the observer, which updates the redstone, which updates the dispenser, causing the shears to shear whatever's in front of it. Once I place the beehive back, it'll do the same process and you see it'll shear the honeycomb. However, we have a problem because some of the honeycomb glitched through the glass. So we're going to have to go outside and put some glass. So we'll just add a row of six glass right on the opposite side of the beehive. Now we're going to go to the side of our farm and we're going to dig out an area that is four by four and place a block of our choice down. Once that's complete, you're going to go ahead to this block here and dig out this block here and place in a note block. Once that's in place, go ahead and dig these three blocks out. Then grab yourself some hoppers and have the hoppers facing to the right, all facing each other the same way. Then add two pieces of glass here and here, and then add a row of glass on top of that. Leave this open because this area needs to stay open so that the sound of the note block works. Next, add two more pieces of glass on each side here. And make this a total of three high. And then add a roof of glass on top of that. Then once back inside the farm, you can see that our honeycomb is sitting around. That means our shears are shearing the honeycomb out. We're going to come to the middle here. We're going to knock these two pieces of glass out. And then we're going to put two trap doors in so that nothing can escape through the empty hole in the back. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove this block here. And this block here. And this block here. Now we're going to put a temporary block in here, remove this block here, hop down inside and place an observer with the arrow pointing at us. Fill in your block that you took out, remove these two blocks here, and go ahead and place the another observer looking at that other observer. Then jump back into the little hole and put yourself a sticky piston. 
Once the sticky piston's in place, put a lever on top of your sticky piston, and that'll activate a clock, which will now turn on the note block so that the LAs will have somewhere to go drop off everything they pick up into those hoppers once the note block is playing. Go ahead and remove these two blocks and this block here. Go ahead and place a chest and a chest here. And go ahead and replace that block there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get our LAs and bring them up to our farm. And I already took the time to put what items I want each LA to pick up. So one LA has seeds, one LA has honeycomb, and the other LA has wheat. I feel like I'm walking in a parade with balloons. In my balloons, they're floating behind me. All right, now we get our lays inside of our farm. Once they're inside the farm, go ahead and turn on your note block. Once the note block's on, you could run over and release the lays. And now the lays will start doing their job by picking everything up and bringing it over to the hoppers where the note block's at. And you can see that it's starting to already work and filter honeycomb and seeds into the chest. And there you have it. That's the end of the farm. Now we just wait and wait for the wheat to grow, the bees to pollinate all the wheat seeds, and the LAs to go and pick everything up. And you can see so far, this is what we've gotten. A whole bunch of wheat. The farm is working fantastically. I also added a little bone meal farm here on that side where I can take my seeds, put my seeds inside that chest, that chest filters them into that hopper, that hopper filters them into the composter, composter goes into the hopper and inside the chest on the bottom you have bone meal. So this is actually a bone meal farm as well. I also added a door with a button so that you can easily access it instead of taking the glass out all the time. And there you have it. You can see the bees doing their job by the, by the wheat being pollinated as they go by. You can see the green particles on the wheat. Let's go shut off our hoppers. Let's go check out our nether portal really quick. Okay, so as you walk up upon the nether portal, you see that the skulk sensors are picking up my presence. And they're emitting the sounds that you hear. And it does have a button that you shut off, walk up, and it, the sensors actually turn it on from the redstone pulse that the sensor's given. And you shut it off. I gotta fix the wall yet behind it, but it's pretty neat. And then you can just walk right back up to it, and it turns on automatically. Pretty cool. Used soul sand, lit that on fire, the skulk blocks. Um, and then there's dispensers that use water and shears on either side to turn it on and off and they're hidden back behind the wall. What's really interesting is that every so often a hoglin will get stuck and suffocated in between the wall and you can hear him and it's acting as a gold farm because it's producing some gold. A little bonus for my on off nether portal. Next time you're visiting and you're using my nether portal be careful because there may be a warden around and also make sure you shut it off. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you is inside here, I finally finished my entrance. And you can see that we've got some pictures up, some decorations, we finished the flooring and the walls. I put my first wooden pickaxe here, so it's on display. I got my first stone sword here on display. Over in this other corner here. I have my first mob chest plate that I got. Mr. LA is here. I'm going to move him. He's just temporary. And then over here, really neat stuff. Free armor and a sword if anyone wants it. And free snacks if you come visit. I have delicious snacks here. We got buffalo cookies and buffalo cake. We have some rabbit stew, some golden carrots, some buffalo stew, and an even buffalo pie. Come on over and have a snack. Now that I won my bet of having the best wheat farm on the server, you can all bring over some fireworks now. Well, that wraps up today's video. I hope everybody had a great day. I hope everybody learned a lot about building a wheat farm, using bees to help harvest a wheat farm, using a lays to collect the, from a wheat farm, having a villager inside of a wheat farm. I hope everybody enjoyed my nether portal. I hope everybody enjoyed my entrance. Go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.